What's up, Level Uppers? Welcome to a live reaction, and we are going to watch the full trailer for The Lion King. Just dropped yesterday. I have not watched it yet. I'm incredibly excited. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of positive buzz. I'm also seeing some people focusing on Scar, which I have not seen yet. I'm really excited to finally see Scar and to hear Chiwetel Ejiofor uh, as the character instead of Jeremy Irons, and I'm sure we'll talk about that. A lot of people upset. A lot of people very positive, though. So I am. Uh, I'm just really really uh ambitious or really uh anticipating to see where i fall uh in all of that all right let's get right into it guys let's check out this trailer for the lion king life's not fair that's him elephant graveyard Is it my little friend while well, some are born to feast Others spend their lives in the dark. Okay. It's very mangy looking. Begging for scraps. He has an evil look in that shot. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. This animation is insane. While others search for what they can take, a true king searches for what he can give. <laughs> that music. Run away, Simba. And never return. Take your place in the circle of life. Oh man. Wow. Eric Andre, what? Who's he? He must be a hyena. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's that music, man. That Hans Zimmer score is still so powerful. Uh, I can't believe how incredibly lifelike this looks. They went for hyper-realism, and they achieved it for better and for worse. And we're going to talk about it in a moment. As much as I have been emotionally impacted by this trailer, it had a lot to do with the, uh, with the music. I'll say that. That music, when it hits, uh, I, I, I definitely got choked up, as I think you guys might have seen there. Um... That, that music is very powerful. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. It really is. Uh, it's hyper-realistic. I can't believe that almost all of this is animation. Simba looks freaking adorable. Um, really, really uh, like the look of Scar, actually. I do like it a lot. It's not what I expected. Um, but that's okay. He, he does have an evil look to him. Uh, and that's, a, that's kind of a tough thing to achieve, considering that they are going for hyper-realism. They aren't able to... Uh, like, kind of, you know, make him this dramatic villain in the same way they could do in the animated cartoon, of course. Uh, this this is a lot of cool shots here, but this is kind of stuff that I wanted to start with the positive there because I am, I am overall positive on it. I just want to get that out of the way. I'm overall positive on it. It looks beautiful. The uh, voice acting is spectacular. Really like uh, James Earl Jones, of course. I would have liked to hear Simba. Still haven't heard him yet. I was hoping to hear him, but that's okay. But let's get into some of my concerns as well. Uh, just cause I, that's how I am. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to speak my truth and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, I am concerned about the, the emotion as I was before the same as before. I am still a little worried about that. I don't think this trailer did much in that regard to qualm my fears. I think this, this shot is good and it shows that they were able to give him an, a villainous look without, without him expressing a villainous look. But that's the thing is like, look at every shot and uh, there's just not, there's not any emotion expressed. And that just could be down to the shots they chose. But Simba doesn't really change his face at all. I think in this shot here, he kind of shows like hesitation um, a little bit there. Uh, but like, you're not, there's just, it's impossible to show emotion in the same way you can in animation, like cartoon animation in, 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 with something as hyper-realistic as this. 
And I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. This is clearly the route they're going for. But look at this. They don't have the swagger. They're not... They're not bobbing their heads. They're not even really bobbing at all. They're just walking across a log. What? It's, uh, it, it doesn't, that there, look, look at, uh, I'm trying to think of her, uh, Sarabi. Look at Sarabi there. When she looks at it, I'm going to pause on it, actually. Here comes Scar coming in, and look at Sarabi. Like, it, what, what am I supposed to gather emotionally from that shot there? Am I supposed to gather anything? It just looks like a lion. Thank you for the raid. I, I am doing a trailer reaction, so I'll get to that in a second. Thank you so much for the raid, guys. That's just, that's just a lion. That's just a lion looking. There's no emotion there whatsoever. And I feel like most of the shots in this uh, have that same feeling for me. That I don't really sense emotion from the characters. Um, and I hope that that's just because they didn't show much, much, much in this trailer where you actually see the characters talking. You don't see a lot of that. You saw a few shots with Scar, and I think that was it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind actually a little bit to the beginning here. Um, let's rewind a little bit to the start. I don't know how to read cats. You're right, Mel. I don't know how to read cats. Um, there were a, sh a few shots. Like, look at that there. Even there, he's he's talking to Simba. He's talking about. It, it seems like a dramatic line that he's delivering, but. There's there's really nothing going on with the face. It's not there's not really his eye, his eyebrows if you want to call it that aren't raising like nothing nothing's really happening there with him. Uh, he's not really expressing whatsoever. Got the hyenas being devilish there a little bit. Somehow he does look villainous here. I, I like that shot a lot. I do like that shot a whole lot. Movie looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna say that again. Look at how how lifelike that looks. Unbelievable. Like, what's, what, like, I, I'm trying to wonder, like, what in that scene there, when Zazu shows up, like, what, what's, sim like, like, there's, again, like, look at his face, there's just nothing. There's nothing there. There's literally no expression whatsoever as he walks up on, on Zazu there. None whatsoever. And, again, that could just be down to the shots that they choose. I'm still really, really excited for this. But if I have one concern, I've been I've been qualmed on fears of of how it's going to look. I feel like it's it's I'm fine with that. It it, it has color in scenes. The nighttime shots were beautiful. There's there's saturation here and there, and I, I appreciate that. I'm glad that there are some colorful shots. Uh, it's not all you know subdued in that way. But I still do have the fear when it comes to emotionality being conveyed from hyper realistic animals. Um, even the last shot. Let's go to. Let's go to when uh, Timon and Pumbaa are... We went a little too far there. It's at the very end. Oh, I think I cut it out. It's actually... Let's go to the end here. Alright, so right after this... They have, like, a bounce to them, so I like that. But that's about it. Even in that shot, he's just kind of, like, singing, and Pumbaa doesn't have really any expression to him. Um... Yeah, I, I wonder, one of Winston, one of Winston in the chat asks, how will they look when they sing? That's a really great question, considering that there, there really isn't much emotionality expressed when they're talking in this. So what about when they sing? Uh, like, you can see, like, he's just, like, he just has his mouth open, and Pumbaa, really, not much going on there with him either. They're bouncing, though. I like, like, the bounce that they have to him. He's not smiling. He just has his mouth open. <laughs> I wouldn't call that smiling so much as just being mouth open, you know? Um, it's just, it's, it, and even so, like a smile, okay. Like, okay, he has like a, a very small smile. It's, it's very, I get that you're trying to defend this movie as best as you possibly can, uh, Mike, but it's definitely a problem that they have not rectified in this trailer. Uh, it could totally be fine in the film. I could tell Bogey to smile, and when a dog, all a dog has to do is open their mouth and they look like they're smiling. Stick out their tongue, and a dog looks like they're smiling. They're not smiling, they just look like they're smiling. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you open your mouth, you stick out your tongue, you look like you're smiling as an animal. Like, that's, that's the problem here. And I was just, look, I was just watching 
I was just watching uh, the Jungle Book, uh, Mowgli, actually, on uh, on Netflix a little bit yesterday because I have heard like the comparisons being made. Even though Mowgli is not a very good movie, it's a it's a very stark comparison there in how they treated the animals in Mowgli as opposed to how they're treating the animals in this. And I'm not saying one's better than the other, but they did actual facial facial motion capture for Mowgli, and through that, there's a lot of emotionality expressed in Mowgli. If you look at the animals and that, like they their faces move as if they have human characteristics. They didn't do that at all in this. Um, and I feel like maybe a little bit of a middle ground could be good. And uh, we'll have to wait to see if they do that. There might be a little bit of a middle ground. Like when they sing, like, are we going to see uh, expression in them? It, it's hard It's hard to say yet. They didn't show a lot in this trailer to allow us to figure that out. Um, maybe they just don't want us to see that yet. There, we haven't had any singing besides Timon and Pumba, Pumba at the end doing a Wima Way or whatever that song is called. Um, so yeah, we just don't have enough to go off of yet. But the fact that they didn't show anything, just I'm just reiterating that I'm still worried about that. That's still my one concern that I have with this. This movie is going to make bank and it's going to be really interesting no matter what. Uh, but I do think that there's going to be if there isn't like emotionality expressed, I do think there's going to be a divide on who really enjoys this film and who doesn't. Um, I do think there's definitely going to be a divide. There already is a divide in the fact that some people think it's unnecessary, right? Like, why are we doing like a shot for shot remake and live action? Why is that even necessary? I don't agree with that. I think by the mere fact that they're going with hyper realism, it makes it a completely different movie. So I, I disagree with that entirely. I think this movie will stand on its own for the mere fact that they're going with hyper realism. But uh, if it doesn't really, like you can't have your cake and eat it too, I guess is what I'm saying, right? So if you're going to go for hyper-realism, maybe you shouldn't have like the, the, the singing and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think that probably would have bothered some people, but I think if you're going to go with the singing and stuff, I, I do hope that they do a little bit of animation there. Uh, I, I really hope so. That's my hope for this because I, I know I want... Be prepared is rumored to still be in this, by the way. I want Be Prepared to have that impact. I want it to be this amazing scene like when Jeremy, Jeremy Irons did it in the original Lion King. Um, but I just don't think we're going to enjoy it near as much if Scar is not emoting in that way. I just don't think we can enjoy it in that same way. Rafiki, I agree. Rafiki kind of showed emotion when like it really focused closely on his eyes and he kind of like it, it was very human like. That's the good thing about um like apes and and monkeys in general though is they they kind of have humanoid uh features about them. It's why I feel like the Planet of the Apes movies they are able to take that and transition it so well is because you're able to you're able to emote with uh apes and monkeys and chimpanzees and all that very very well. Uh, let's let's go back here. There's a shot of uh, Rafiki here. Wait for it. There he is. It's his eyes. He has a lot. He has a lot of uh. You you kind of sense something in his eyes. I I like Rafiki a lot. But I mean, compare that to uh, the cartoon. It's like a stark difference, right? Like remember the scene where he goes up in the tree and he puts the the main one he's like laughing and 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 he's so excited like this is that scene right that's that scene where he realizes that simba is alive and in I, i'm not even gonna try and do a good impression here but he like jumps up on the tree he's like ha, 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 and he's like dancing and, and then he he's alive and he like puts the he puts the 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 main on him i mean if you're looking at that there i don't i don't know this is clearly the direction they wanted to go, but I still know how I feel about that. Like there was, there's not definitely not that kind of emotion there with uh, with Rafiki. So it's tough, man. It, it's uh, I'm so torn on that. I think it looks so beautiful, and I think the cinematography looks wonderful, and I think the I think the CGI is some of the best I've ever seen. The music is still going to be some of the best we've ever heard. I just really hope that they're able to sell on the emotion. Uh, I will be there day one, no matter what. I'll tell you that. Don't you remember when he made that then first time he was serious? Uh, I don't. Re I I I hope he has the laughter. I I really hope he has the laughter. Uh, teacher own I'm all for it. As you said, it's going for hyper realism. I I respect that they have a vision and they're going for it, but. 
as I said, you can't have your cake and eat it too here. Because if you're going to go hyper-realistic, how are those musical scenes going to play out? So, even though you're saying you're good with hyper-realism, you're also saying that you want the music and the emotionality there, because they're going to have that. Uh, and if they're going to go for hyper-realism, they're not going to achieve those scenes. So, either they pull away from hyper-realism during the musical numbers, or those scenes don't land well, in my opinion. That's what I think. Mr. Dr. Brian, thank you so much for the three-month sub. Out of curiosity, I, I kind of want to see the Rafiki scene now. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. Um, he, I, he, yeah, he might do, like, the the main and then laugh. I'm trying to remember. Uh, Rafiki uh, tree scene? I, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's see if we can find it. That's the, that's the first painting scene. Um, that's where he's painting it for the first time. Uh, Rafiki collection of scenes. Here we go. What was that easy, my pal? Uh, this is Come this in. is after. Where's the scene where he does the? This is not a collection of scenes. Take your stick. No, 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 not a stick. Not a stick. He's the best. I'm going back. All right, so hold on a sec. Uh, Lion King. Rafiki learns that Simba is alive. Here we go. Was it something I said? Okay. So, let's go to the browser on this one so you guys can see. Ooh. Simba? He's, he's alive! He, he's alive! <laughs> no, he's laughing before he puts it up. We have to go back! <laughs> Yeah, it's completely uh, th 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 there. I mean, it is time. If you, it doesn't. You don't have to complain about it necessarily, but it's definitely a stark difference in emotionality. So he's laughing the entire time. He's excited. He's happy. Uh, there's a lot of emotion there, uh, and that I love that. I love Rafiki um, in the original, but when you go back. And again, I'm not I'm not criticizing the scene because we don't know how it's going to play out yet. But let's go back to when he first puts it on here. They're like two separate movies. It, it's the case, which is why I don't agree with anybody. There it is. I don't agree with anybody saying like this movie shouldn't exist. Like they're just doing a shot for shot remake. Uh, I don't agree with that at all, because by the fact that they're going so hyper realistic, it makes it a completely different movie. Um. But that's that's going to be like this weird thing I, when people see this. I, I some people are gonna like that, some people aren't. It's gonna be a divide for sure. Uh, but there's definitely not emotionality there. He just walks up. Although they might have cut it. They might have cut it there. That actually kind of looked like it was edited strangely. Watch. Yeah, I, well, I don't know. It's hard to say. His hands like pop up quickly. They didn't show the scene where he kind of puts his hands up. So maybe they edited it weird there. So you don't like see his emotion. That's what I'm talking about. Like, why didn't they? Why won't they show us that though? I, I kind of wish that they would give us that. Like, give us like a, a really strong emotional scene in one of these trailers because it's really only what it's it's July, so it's only like three months away. It's kind of a uh, we've had our teaser. This is our first full trailer. I'm waiting for them to show me something that shows a musical number or shows me like a strong emotional scene. Um, I've got to imagine they're going to put it in one of the trailers. I, I can't imagine they won't give us some some music in one of these trailers because uh, this one didn't have it at all. And this was still a short trailer. This is only like, an, uh, like a minute and 45 seconds long. So this is like a teaser trailer almost in comparison to what we normally get. So hopefully we do get like some inkling on how, how they're going to handle that before the film comes out. Um, yeah, they, I'm not, it doesn't seem like they cut it out. It just seems like they, they kind of rushed it. So it's hard to say. It seems like that is the same scene. Um, but they definitely, like, they, they sped it up so that, like, it doesn't show him putting his arms up and, and all that. It just, it's just him, like, walking up on the tree. Maybe it's two entirely different scenes. Hard to say right now. It's the hater era. So same people who are on the hater train are the same fools who see it three times a week. Right. Right, man. This movie's going to make $2 billion. I don't care. I don't care what you think of these trailers. Everybody's going to see this, right? Like, I, I mean, I'm very excited. Even with, like, the concerns that I have, I'm so excited. I'm going to say that I'm going to see this day one. Uh, what a Winston said, my pants are going crazy. Let's see what else we got in the chat here. I want full National Geographic Lion Pride docudrama. 
It's kind of interesting you bring that up, man, because honestly, that's kind of what I feel like. I was watching um, I was watching One Planet on Netflix, a new documentary on there, and I was watching that, and now watching this today, I kind of feel like that's what it I, I, we're getting. We're almost getting like a documentary uh, of like watching like animals in their natural habitat and them falling in love and, you know... What happens in, in a pride and the in the you know one lion trying to overtake the other? It's it, I feel like we're watching a National Geographic documentary, and I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. I, I really don't know how I feel about that. Uh, is Lion King my favorite movie? I would say no. It's up there. It's in my top five uh, as far as animated Disney movies, but it's not my favorite. I don't think. I think my favorite is probably Beauty and the Beast. If I had to say, Lion King is very high though. Maybe even maybe even like top three. Very hard to say, but. I, we talked about this for like at least 20 minutes now. So like, let's wrap it up. I want to say, just to close this off, before anybody jumps in the comments and breaks me through the coals, this movie looks beautiful. And the voice acting, I love. I think Chiwetel Ejiofor actually sounds really great as Scar. I think Scar, as his design, looks great. Uh, I think the the artistic direction whether whatever you want to call it the hyper realism but it does have like it does have scene with natural uh, saturated colors and looks beautiful much better in my opinion than how i felt about the teaser trailer which looked a little bit too muted i feel like they showed us scenes in this trailer that did, did have pops of color it looks beautiful in all that way i'm still concerned about the emotionality of the of the character of the characters but i really think a lot of this looks beautiful john favreau i think has the passion uh, for this. It really is showing. I think the entire crew working on this has the passion. I really do feel that in this trailer. I just hope their choices in going hyper-realistic, even if it means all the way through the film, even with those scenes that need emotionality, I just hope that choice that they made does work out for them in the end, because I do think it's a bold choice to make. I really hope that it works out. Either way, this... You saw me. I teared up at the beginning of this trailer. The music... And just the impact on on us who grew up with this film in 1995 or 94 or whatever it was, it's going to be special no matter what. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know, please, uh, if you're watching this at youtube.com slash the level up network. Uh, and let me know what you thought of my my concerns. Do you agree with them? Do you completely disagree with them? You know, cheese their own. If you if you really love how they're going with the hyper realism. Totally, I'm all for that. I completely understand that. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. If you liked my reaction, hit that like button. If you dislike, you can hit that dislike button. That's totally fine. Uh, but if you did like it, please hit that subscribe button here at youtube.com slash the level up network. Turn on the bell. Make sure you get notifications whenever I upload new videos. And we're also doing this live. As you can see, I'm, I'm addressing the chat here and there. So uh, please go to twitch.tv slash the level up show. Uh, hit that follow button. Turn on notifications. Make sure you get alerts whenever I go live. And I really hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. And as always, don't forget to level up.